TV's influence blasted to new heights on July 10, 1962, when NASA launched Telstar, the world's first commercial communication satellite. Three Earth stations stood ready to transmit television signals to and receive signals from the orbiting satellite. One in Gunhilly Downs in the United Kingdom, one in Plumour Boudou, France, and one in Andover, Maine. Fifteen hours after Telstar's launch, Andover technicians crossed their fingers as they tried it out for the first time. The first broadcast was made over Telstar 1 from here, uh, and it was a, an image of the American flag flying in front of the control building to Plumard Badeau, France, the Earth station uh, in Europe. The pioneering event marked the beginning of the instantaneous global communications revolution. The Andover Earth Station is still in operation today. Its location is ideally suited for satellite communications. We're in a bowl here with the mountains completely surrounding uh, this Earth Station. And the mountains around here in this, in this bowl prevented unwanted radio interference to the satellite signal. And also, we're in the northeastern part of the United States, which gave us a short loop to uh, Europe for satellite communications. Andover's equipment may have gone through four decades worth of upgrades, but its transmission process has remained essentially the same. To transmit TV signals, Andover's engineers in the 60s uplinked broadcasts, then beamed the signals toward Telstar. Sending station identification. Telstar traveled in an elliptical orbit between 600 and 3,500 miles above Earth. It was equipped with antennas that received the signals, then Telstar amplified them 10 billion times using traveling wave tube amplifiers and transmitted them to one of the other Earth stations. Technicians at those stations were able to move their ground antenna to optimize the connection. In the days of Telstar, the antenna that was used for that was very large and very mobile because it had to rotate on an axis and then travel on a track as it followed the satellite across the sky. So the antenna would literally move in order to be able to follow the satellite clear across the horizon from one side to the other. Telstar's oblong orbit caused the satellite to be in position for transatlantic relay for only 20 minutes every two and a half hours. Today, most communication satellites are in geosynchronous orbits, matching the speed of Earth's rotation and staying fixed above one specific point below, enabling them to relay signals 24 hours a day.